I'm gonna need a napkin. <laughs> What is up everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking back into video four. I filmed a bunch of stuff for the day in the life video, which was supposed to be video number four. And then the footage just turned out absolutely terrible. I was editing the video and nothing worked. So I was just like, you know what? Scrap that. I'm moving on to something else. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing truth or drink. Like you may have, you may see other YouTubers do here and there. I'm going to be doing with one of my best friends from home. I'm literally just waiting for her to get here. She's in the back. We're getting her alcohol set up and everything like that before she comes out. And then we're going to get on started. One eternity later. Okay, everybody. So this is my friend, Abby. She's one of my closest friends from home. We have known each other since like when we were babies. Like yeah, like, ba like kindergarten, even before then. And I used to have like a really big crush on Abby. And I used to tell my mom, you know, like, I'm gonna marry Abby one day. Also, fun fact, Jacob was, Jacob and I were our first relationship. Yeah. We were my first boyfriend, and he was, I was his first girlfriend. First and one of the most important. Um, and now we're good. <laughs> she turned me gay. <laughs> <laughs> Abby agreed to do this through their drink video with me, so basically she knows very little about what this video is actually gonna kind of entail. I kind of just told her like, hey, we're hanging out, we're filming a video, and we're gonna be drinking. So anyway, basically in this mug that she made me, it's a Jacob Campbell Vlogs mug, I got a person that was supposed to be here actually, one of my other friends, who was gonna be reading the questions for us. He wrote them down on pieces of paper in here, and we're gonna be taking turns pulling the pieces of paper out, reading the questions, and then if we wanna answer the question, then we can answer it, but if not, we have to take a shot. So, Abby is drinking tequila, I'm drinking vodka, I hate vodka. I hate tequila. And <laughs> the new rule that I'm setting right now is whenever we take the shot, we have to sit for at least three seconds before we can drink our chase. Uh, that means that the taste is gonna have to linger in our mouth and stuff and we're gonna have to really wallow in it. We have sangria here as chase. Basically, yeah, should we flip a coin to see who chooses first? Sure. Okay. Heads. So I go first. You go first? Yeah, okay. I was like, what? Would you rather have sex with your husband in your dad's body or your dad in your husband's body? Your mm. husband in your dad's body or your dad in your husband's body? I don't think I want to answer that. I'm just trying to like rash, like, come to a decision and it's like obviously like I would want my husband only to know that side of me you know but then it's like I don't want to see my dad naked yeah and then I would never like my dad I'm taking the shot yeah, I'm too. taking the shot cheers one two three go god that's gross that same gray is also disgusting <laughs> Oh, this one's good. What's your funniest memory with the other person? Oh my this god. This one I can answer for sure. Abby came to visit me at school in London and she took the train. We had like a weekend together and everything like that. And then I texted a group of the guys and was like, oh, hey, come up to London. Like Abby's here, like we're gonna have a good time. So I had like five of my guy friends and then Abby all staying at my student house in London. And we go out and Abby got so drunk. So we were at the bar. <laughs> And Abby's like romper or yeah, like shirt it was like strap. A jumpsuit. It like yeah. her button like popped off or like it ripped, the seam ripped or something. Her like boob almost came completely out. Literally every like three minutes, I'm like, <laughs> Jacob, you have to fix my shirt. You have to fix my shirt. And like she's like couldn't even see straight. I'm like trying to like do it so professionally, like put everything together and stuff, like in the middle of the dance floor. And that happened like eight times. And then we get home, we all pass out. And Abby's like sleeping on the couch. All the guys came home after us and they were making a bunch of noise. So I come upstairs. I'm the type of friend where I don't intentionally like not give people blankets. I just don't have blankets to give. So Abby's sleeping on the couch with my wet beach towel from that day. And she's sleeping and she's all cuddled up. It's like intertwined between her arms. And my one friend comes up and is like, I need a blanket. Goes to Abby, rips the towel. But because Abby was like intertwined, Abby goes flying off the couch. 
I didn't know that. She goes flying off the couch, hits the ground, and then we all look and we're like, I think you were literally just like so drunk you didn't even know. And then you got back, okay, but you got back on the couch though. Anyways, and then yeah, the next the next day, Abby, every time she thought, looked, or even smelt food, she thought she was gonna throw up. So that was my funniest. Yeah. There's like dozens and dozens of funniest moments, but for some reason, that's always the first one that comes up to my head. Yeah, that was a bad night. <laughs> okay, so mine, I'm gonna just, there are so many, I can't even choose one, but I'm just gonna go with the most recent one. So this was like last weekend, so it was less than a week ago. Um, Jacob ended up crashing our girls night. We were doing like a friends miss thing. It's like one of those surprise. So he surprised me, which was really nice. But I was supposed to go to this friends miss thing. So I'm like, Jacob, just come with me. Like, cause he knew, like he knows everyone that was there. He had like a potluck and everything. He didn't contribute to it. I contributed to the eating part. So we're just sitting at the table. Jacob's telling this like elaborate story. And he went to get up. It was something like my mom made a comment and yeah, I like he was, fake like, gag, like Ugh. And then he was like, I was so mad, so I went to storm out. And he gets up to demonstrate how he stormed out of the room and tripped over the leg of the chair and literally face plants so hard on the hardwood floor. Like so hard and we were all just like, Oh my God, and we all just started dying of laughter. It was like silence in the room because <laughs> none of us could breathe. We were laughing so hard. And he just gets up and he's like, Oh my God. And like, I didn't even have time to put my arms out. Like, it's like, it I literally so just loud. like, we laugh for like was, a good 10 minutes. Oh yeah, it was so funny. Except I put a hole in my Lululemon pants. Yeah. So at the end of this video, there'll be a GoFundMe page with a link to, to donate to buy me a new pair of Lululemon pants. Okay, my turn. Okay, biggest flaw of the other person. Biggest flaw? Of me. You know what my flaw is already? I, I can think of one. Well, that didn't take you very long. But you're, okay, do you want me to go? You go, you go. You are the worst texture ever. <laughs> okay, worst. Don't, don't hesitate. Like, okay, so it's like, she's saying this like she was holding this in forever. It's she's, so I was like, annoying. I was like, no, you go, you go. And literally the second I say go, you are the worst. You texter. are though. We don't see each other that much because we live six hours away. So every time he comes home, we do spend time together, but we make plans and I'm like texting him and you just like will ghost me for eight hours just sitting around waiting for you. It's more so like whenever I'm home, I just have so many things that I need to get done and like family yeah. to see. Like I have two very big families and I need to see like everybody. It's not that I am intentionally trying to be a bad texter. It's just that like I get like yeah. caught up and then I forget and like, I read the message and then tell myself I'm gonna reply later, like once I'm free, once I'm done like at the cashier or something, and then I just forget for a few yeah. hours. I do the same, but you're... I, I like, am, like, honestly, I that's a good you. one. That's I could have said like, oh, you're such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not, so. Cheers to that. <laughs> okay, what's mine? Okay, I, I legitimately like can't think of one. I don't want to like drag this video out and I want to get on to the next <laughs> question. So I think I'm just gonna have to take the shot. Yeah, you're gonna have to. And take a three second pause before you chase. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so a flaw is Abby is so bossy. Two seconds. Okay, go. If you could cheat and no one else would find out, would you? Okay, to spice this up, Let's say if you could cheat with like your dream celebrity, um, would you? No. No? No. Why? This is an easy question. Yeah, I'm not even gonna yeah. consider drinking because I just have such like a guilty conscience mm -hmm. that like I would literally be driving myself insane yeah. if if I were to do, ever do that. Yeah. To my friend who wrote these, get better questions. Yeah. Me. Oh, it's your turn. Make Jacob take more shots, please. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yep. Oh, have you ever read Bay's texts over their shoulder? Only if it's like, if I know we have plans that night with like a group of friends. One of the friends is texting us, so explaining like what's going on, I'll be, I'll look at it. It'll be like a, yeah, what are we doing? Like, we don't do it if he's texting anyone else, but if it's trying to figure out what we're doing. Yeah. I'll like purposely look, but yeah, I think like I do that 
And then I'm also just like a very nosy person. So if they're texting beside me and I'm not doing anything on my phone, like I'll look over being like, hmm. And it's almost, you don't even internalize like what you're reading. It's more so just, oh, yeah, like lame. <laughs> like something yeah. like that, I don't know, you know? This one we know about each other, but the, for the view, this is for the viewers. Abby, single or taken? Single. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I am engaged and actually, so I got engaged in July. Yep. The day before my birthday. Three right? days before my birthday. Yes. A day before mine, three days before Jacob's. And we've been together for almost six years in a couple days actually. Um, and fun fact, Jacob is my man of honor for the wedding. I'm planning the parties already, don't worry. He told me that we're having multiple bachelorette parties, so I'm a little excited. Send the male stripper applications to my DMs. Yes. I will be reviewing them. No, I'm just kidding. Whenever Abby called me the night she got engaged and I was freaking out. Like, well, because, okay, so you were in London. So I wanted, so we went to Ottawa for the night, uh, my fiance and I, and that's where we got engaged. So that's an hour from home. So I, we were gonna wait to tell people from home, like in person, but I was like, oh, Jacob's in London. Like I can FaceTime him and tell him because I couldn't, I knew I wasn't gonna see him for a while. So anyways, I FaceTimed him right away. And I was in like the basement of my friend's house, like freaking out. Like whenever I get excited and I'm on the phone, I like pace back and forth. I think I got like 10,000 steps just from that one conversation. <laughs> and it was like a 10 minute conversation. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, like, oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god. And like I call my mom and I'm like, Mom, Abby's engaged. And then my mom literally says to me, she's like, Well, Jacob, you always said you wanted to marry her. I guess this is the next best thing. <laughs> and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I get to stand beside her while she gets married. Anyways, so then for me, I am taken. I've been in a relationship for a year and a half, a little bit more than a year and a half. Well, um, but yeah, so yeah. I'm not gonna say much about it because I'm still trying to ask him to come onto the channel and for you to meet him and stuff like that. So if that's an idea that you guys think is a good idea, give this video a big thumbs up, like it down below. That way I can at least turn to him and be like, they really wanna meet you. Let's go. He's awesome. <laughs> I he really is. like him. Yeah. He was present the night that I had uh, a good time. He was there. That was your first time meeting, actually. Yeah. Right? It was. Um, Abby made a really good first impression. I made a impression. great impression <laughs> with him. We're, we're chill now. Last question. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. Kill count. Kill count? Yeah. Mine's sad. I think I know it. Whisper yours to me. Okay. I. I don't think I'm gonna say it. Are you gonna say yours? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna say mine. Well, that, okay, this is a good opportunity to end it then because we're both gonna be doing another shot. Yeah. I just feel like that's, nobody needs to know that. I'm not one for airing all my dirty laundry. Like, yeah, you know, like. It's too much, too much. For like, I'm down for like the whites and like the pinks, but the colors, no The way. colors can, uh, they're the, the colored laundry, they're separate. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so that is it for this video. The, the Jacob Campbell Vlogs Cup is empty. It was just a couple questions. We wanted to keep it relatively short. Just a quick video to give you guys a little bit of insight. Let me meet one of my best friends. I'm like very buzzed right now, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. We are probably gonna keep drinking cause it's just fun. Let's spend time, just her and I. Quarantine baby. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on IG, inbox video ideas. Make sure to like the video if you want to meet my boyfriend because then I'll show it to him and try and convince him to come on. And yeah, you will probably be seeing Abby in future videos because Yay. I love her. Aww. <laughs> okay, peace out guys. Bye.